So welcome to Jeep Roscoe. My name is Ross and this is Delilah. Delilah is my uh, 2015 two-door uh, Jeep Wrangler JK. Now I bought uh, Delilah a couple of months ago second-hand. Um, it was uh, 70, 79,000 kilometers on the clock with one previous owner and everything on it apart from the tires were stock standard. As far as the tires go, the all-terrain tires, uh, the Cooper tires have been added, but they are the same stock size that, that come with the original. Um, when I first bought Delilah, uh, I wasn't planning to uh, go over landing across Australia. Um, it was just a little bit of fun and to do a bit of off-roading. Uh, then, over the subsequent months, um, I started to get very kind of uh, depressed in work and um, well, basically, COVID put everything into stark contrast and uh, made me realize that, you know, we, we can't take for granted that we're going to be able to do tomorrow what we'd like to do. So I thought, bugger it, why not try it now? So um, I've kitted out Delilah uh, for a little bit of outback travel in Australia. I've added things such as uh, the bull bar, roof rack, winch, spotlights, LED headlights, and a variety of other things which we'll be covering over the coming episodes. But uh, this is just a little in introduction to say uh, what we're all about. Uh, so basically, if you've ever thought about ditching in your job, uh, fitting uh, as much of your worldly possessions into a two-door Jeep and traveling across the continent, then this may be the channel for you. I've, uh, I left Adelaide uh, seven days ago. I'm currently in Esperance in Western Australia. Uh, I travelled across the Nullarbor, uh, north up the gold fields to see um, a, a ghost town called Gwalia, which uh, literally means Wales, so I'm from Wales, I had to see it, <laughs> and then headed back down south. And I'll be in Esperance now for the next seven days, uh, exploring um, uh, Cape Le Grand National Park and a couple of other um, wildlife reserves around here, and then catching up with a couple of uh, friends from, of mine from Western Australia who arrive um, on the weekend. Um, it's all been a bit of a whirlwind thus far because uh, various issues because of COVID, uh, the weather not being brilliant and other things. It's all been a bit fast. Um, I've done almost 4,000 kilometers um, and, you know, not stopped in one place for more than one day. Over the next couple of weeks, I will be slowing down and doing things a lot more in depth as I travel around the southwest corner of Western Australia. Fingers crossed the weather's going to play ball. It's been unseasonably wet and windy uh, for this time of year for Australia. But um, what I'm saying is that essentially, as we go, we're going to be reviewing Delilah, reviewing all the bits and bobs that I bought for the car and for camping, um, deciding what works, what doesn't work, and uh, what's going to stay, what's going to go. We'll also be highlighting some of the spectacular scenery that Australia has to offer. Uh, ho hopefully some of the wildlife, but from a safe distance. <laughs> I'm, fingers crossed, not going to uh, have to use the bull bar in anger at all on this trip. Um, I'm also um, what I like to call a semi-professional photographer. I've taken, I've sold a few photog photographs. Uh, I've been published several times. But certainly, um, at the moment at least, uh, not good enough to make um, money out of it. Hopefully that might change, but that's the dream. Um, and then lastly, but not, not least, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, well-being and mental health. In this world, a uh, crazy world of COVID, I think uh, there's quite a few people out there in the world that have been doing things tough. And uh, let's face it, um, us men are not brilliant at talking about mental health. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to use this opportunity to uh, talk about, for me, why travel is such, um, such a tonic. Anyway, if you do uh, like this content, then uh, please consider liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And until next time, um, it's been fun. <laughs> Hope to see you all again soon.